welcome to, back to our channel. Today we are going to show you how the X-Tool will run with and without an air assist on. The air assist will show engraving and cutting, which is my first time cutting, so this will be a lot of fun. And I have the Com Grow air assist to show you guys. So let's see how this goes because I've never cut. So just to explain to you guys, this is not a real honeycomb. This is what I have for now. It's got um, a sheet of steel underneath it for a um, protection board. It's got a better name for that, but I can't remember what it is. And then my grid step is sitting on is actually a screen door protector or guard. So as long as we got airflow on top and underneath, we should be good. So let me get the computer ready to go. All right, our first pass is without air assist on. I'm using Laserbox Basic to run this machine. And we're actually making a cute keychain. Well, hopefully it'll be a cute keychain. We'll see. This will be cool. I am running basswood settings. It, I believe I put it as five millimeter. It's like four and a half millimeter um, blue on them. So just to be safe, I put five. Either way, it should only be one. That is all it's going to mean. So you see how this goes. Right now, it is engraving. And I can see the engraving should be cut. This is exciting, you guys, because this is my first time that I'm going to be cutting at all. I have been doing just engraving or marking. Because I did a steel. What is it called? Log bone. Game tag. That's what it is. This is so neat, you guys. I'm gonna zoom you in. It's so exciting. Hope you're as excited as I am. And I really do appreciate Combro sending me the air assist to do a review slash comparison of having it engraving and cutting with and without the air assist on. It does come with a guard, but I could not really figure out how to fit it on. We didn't take with it since. I'm sure it will fit on. I just, I couldn't do it myself. And I haven't gotten around to bug Steven to do it, so. I used to have Steven do it. <laughs> He's shaking his head now at me. We know he will. So cool. I think I'm becoming a big fan of these lasers. I guess it's the only one I've ever had, so it's really cool. I love seeing what everybody puts on their Facebook groups, so. I love frogs, this is why I put a frog on here, just in case you guys are wondering. Frogs are my thing. Let me 
It's almost done in Jerry Lee. Alright, it's coming. Oh my goodness, it's doing its first cut. Cool, you guys. This is cool. Yeah, it's going really slow. Yeah. It looks like it's flaring up underneath you guys, but it's not. It's just a reflection of my um. Oh, is it called the camera? I've watched so many people do this. And now I get to do it. Here we go, you guys. It's all done. Sweet. All right. Let's move the laser out of the way and see what it looks like. Get these glasses off now. Always wear your glasses, by the way. I forgot to even mention it. I did have my cool glasses on. Looks like it pretty much came through. It's got a couple little spots. Here you go. Oh. Oh. My little hole that I cut through all the way. Oops. It's cool. It's got my little wildflowers in there. Alright. So that's what it looks like without air assist. It's kind of charred. And remember, this is um, Luan. The Luan has layers with glue, so I might be doing this with another type of wood. Also, possibly. All right, we're going to set that aside. It is that part that's the front and this is the back all right let it set up and go again with air assist and because i've got it set up again get my fancy glasses back on and i'm gonna start start my air assist i'm gonna turn it on So I'm doing the same design, but I figured out why um, the little circle, the little part the little key chain we go through, did not cut because I had that set at a three millimeter, not the five. I didn't realize that they would be separate. Still learning. So this has air assist on. So right now it's engraving. And once it's all done engraving and cutting, we are going to compare what they look like. So, again, this is a pound of air assist. And if you're asking what an air assist is actually supposed to do for a laser, it is supposed to cut faster and deeper. I don't know how much faster this is going to be cutting out, but deeper would be cool. So we'll see that one. See, without it, the first one has a little tiny little snap. So we'll see what it looks like after the second one cuts with the air assist. Yes, Stephen, <laughs> it is. 
even asked if it was supposed to cut cleaner and less charred, and yes, it's supposed to be. So that's going to be the most visual thing that you'll be able to see, which is a big thing for lasering because you don't want to be cleaning up all the charring and the yellowing, the darkening of the wood where you don't want it to be. You don't want everything to look like shadowed unless that's what you're looking for. This, the compressor is not very loud at all. They have a small hum to it, but I believe the little rubber feet on the bottom help it be a little quieter. And it, it don't like, it's not running off my table. It's just sitting on my dining room table. That's where I'm doing this right now. And it has not moved at all. So that's always a plus when it comes to something like a compressor that vibrates. Also, the compressor has an adjustment on it, which is actually an on and off switch also. A little dial on it, it will let you turn the air up or down, which the higher you turn it up, the little more of a humming you get, but it's really not that loud, you guys. It's It's actually kind of low tone. And here's some compressors I've heard. These are like the variants I've heard some of the ones. But they're really good compressors. I believe this um, setup goes also on Convo's own lasers they make. So. That's always cool. So this this is an X Tool D1 10 mod. I right now can see some difference with the air on, which is quite impressive to me. Like I said, yeah, this is my first time cutting. I've been doing engraving, and this is the first time using an air and cis on the wood and cutting. I did earlier today use the air assist on doing some leather, which is in another video, it's just a really fast one. We'll have to catch that later on. <laughs> or actually it probably will be out before this one. And again that smoke, that smoke is not on fire or anything, it's just blowing up from under me. So no worries you guys, I, it's kind of cool looking on screen though, it really is. This is, this is impressive, I like it. Both the X-Tool and with the, in combination the combo air assist, it's this is cool. I can't wait to do more. I really want to do some puzzles and stuff. So this will definitely help out. So thank you very much, Tom Grow, for sending me this. Show me how different my cuts and engraving can be with a simple attachment as an air assist. Oh my goodness, it's interesting. <laughs> It's done, you guys. All right. Let's turn off the compressor. I had that turned up pretty, well, pretty high, too. All right. I'm going to pull you guys back a little bit. I'm going to use this. Oh, well, did you see that? It fell out. So that right there shows it comes out good. I'm going to move it over a little bit. I don't want to hit my button. Look, with my adjustment. Oh, take my glasses off. Things will look a lot more clearer. All right, this is with, and this is without. 
You can see the little bit of difference right there. You see the difference, Steven? Mm -hmm. It's a lot cleaner and a lot less of it. Yes. And put an image around it. Yeah. There's no set on Oops. I was just rubbing. There's no set in that one. There's really none on that one either. So soot wise on that. Okay. Oh, there is soot on this. Let's see how well, how much is on this one. I mean, you gotta expect. I mean, you're cutting wood. There's still some there. They're about the same. But. Yeah. Yeah. The cutting looks pretty good, too. Oh, yes, the back. Oh, and also, see these? One second before we get to the backs. So, this is without. See all this tan right here? The charring. Not the charring, the tan. Browning. There's none. Alright, I'm going to flip it over. Same thing. Nice clean on the back with the air assist. And this is without air assist. And this will be my only, my first test. I'm going to test other materials and having the assist on and without it. I'll do leather. It won't be tonight. Yeah. So it does make a difference. I mean, there is some up here, but I think that might actually wipe off. Some of it will wipe off. But there is a big difference. That is so neat. I can't wait to play more. The backs. And of course, I'm missing my hole, but that has nothing to do with the air assist on that one. That was my fault. But there you guys go. The difference between a no air assist and an air assist. I hope this helps somebody out. It definitely helped me out. I've seen many people show the difference with and without an air assist. And of course, it's even better in person when you can see it. So again, you guys, this was an X-Tool D110 watt at, uh, with the laser box setting of basswood, 5 millimeter thickness with and without a calm grow air assist on. I hope you guys enjoy this. Until next time you guys, thank you and keep on crafting. Bye.